Hello everybody and welcome to the vlog. Day 24 of vlogist. Today I want to talk about a particular subject and how it applies to me. But to set that up a little bit, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Back in 2011, I would say between the years of 2007 and 2011, I traveled a lot. I traveled so much that I believe I was elite status on two of the major air carriers. I was flying internationally, domestically, I was flying a lot. In 2011 though, there was a particular flight taking me from Miami, Florida to somewhere in Germany. I think it was Frankfurt. During that flight, we got up around Halifax and I remember, I remember it so clearly that we hit heavy, heavy turbulence. It was, it was really heavy turbulence. Turbulence I had never felt before. I mean, if you've flown before, you know every, every once in a while you're going to hit some sort of rough patches of air. Well, and me flying a lot over those, that period of time, you know, I don't think anything of it. But when you're in a plane and it's smooth and everything's good, people are up in the cabin, walking around, they were serving drinks, and then out of nowhere, turbulence hits, severe turbulence. It shakes you up a bit, and that's exactly what happened. I remember it so clearly because the plane was just bouncing all over the place. The people that were standing sat on the ground. The flight attendants sat on the ground. I remember the fear in the flight attendants' eyes. I remember people yelling and screaming and just making a lot of noise. It was a real scary moment. I remember the guy in the row in front of me, breathing really, really heavy and holding his chest. It seemed like he was having somewhat of a panic attack. I remember the flight attendants coming and addressing the situation and also calling for a doctor over the PA system. There was a lot going on and a lot that I remember. And since then, I think about it every single time I fly. There hasn't been a time that I've flown in the last few years that I don't remember that flight in 2011. It was a very scary situation and I think has led to my anxiety disorder every time I fly. So I've talked about this with my doctor and how I feel every time I fly. So how do I feel every time I fly? Well, whenever I have to go somewhere, whenever to book a trip, I dread it completely. Because a week prior to me going on that trip, I start thinking about it. I start thinking about that experience I had on that flight. I start thinking about everything that could go wrong. I think about everything in general, everything that could happen, and it all bundles up in my head and there is no, <laughs> there's no turning back from it. So all this happens about a week before I have to fly. And then the night before, I can't sleep. There's no going to bed. I'm tossing, I'm turning. I'm thinking about everything possible that could go wrong. And then I get to the airport. I go through security. It's almost as if I'm in autopilot because I go, I check in, I go through security, I get to the gate even. All of this time in my head, what can go wrong? What could go wrong? I get on the plane. I also get an aisle seat. I try my best to get an aisle seat because it doesn't make me feel so claustrophobic. And if I need to stand up at any time, I can do that. So I'm in an aisle seat. I just had a hard time dealing with traveling. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you now is, as you know, if you've been following the Vlogus updates, I've been traveling a lot lately. That travel has put me in the air quite a few times over the last few weeks. And I'm happy to say, number one, I didn't start thinking about it a week before. Number two, I got a good night's rest the night before. Number three, I walked on the plane not having a thought or a fear in my head about what anything that's gonna happen. And number four, I didn't feel an ounce of anxiety at all on any of the flights during these last few weeks of flying. Now, why? I'm gonna attribute all of that to all my workouts to having a clear head and to losing well over 50 pounds and just staying positive. You know, I didn't know how I was gonna deal with this and I thought that it was just something that 
I was gonna have to live with the rest of my life. And you know, I might have been lucky these last few weeks and I just didn't have any attacks, but I can tell you anxiety is no joke. It'll hit you when you least expect it. It didn't hit me these last few weeks and I'm thankful for that. And I'm hoping that with all this weight loss, with all these workouts that I'm doing, with getting a clear head, that that anxiety is gone and I'm gonna be able to travel freely in the air a lot more frequently. Because it's a lot of fun going to these places. Anyway, I thought I'd share that story with you, where I was and where I am now. I'm really excited that I didn't have to deal with it at all over the last few weeks, and I'm looking forward to my next trip. Hey, I don't know when it'll be, but I'm not gonna let air travel bother me any longer. Anyways, I hope you find this somewhat of an interesting story. It could have just been boring and you sat through it, which I appreciate. But uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.